what's going on guys welcome to another video by trending reviews so this is the Huawei Mate 20 Pro let's go ahead and give you an unboxing and take a look at the first impressions right so straight out of the box let's go ahead and open this up right so we have the beautiful Mate 20 Pro here with the twilight coloring you have the sort of pinkish red button there on the side as well we'll take a look at the phone in a second then we have your user guide and sim card tray opener your plug the USB charging cable a pair of headphones and a headphone dongle obviously this phone has no headphone jack Right, so right off the bat, this is the 128GB 6GB RAM Twilight model. It has a front and back glass and aluminium frame. It's kind of similar to the Samsung S9 Plus where the screen sort of bleeds around the edges. I think that's really nice. Now looking at the display, it's an AMOLED capacitive touchscreen. It has 16 million colors and a beautiful 6.4 inch screen. It has about 88% screen to body ratio and it does have that notch. Now you can turn that notch off and it will look pretty much exactly like the Samsung S9 Plus but either way it's not a huge notch like the Pixel 3 XL. The resolution in the screen is 1440 by 3120 pixels so it is a very sharp screen. It has a huge 538 ppi density and it does come with a in-screen fingerprint scanner. Now it comes with Android 9.0 Pi. But the chipset is the Silicon Kirin 980 powerful processor and it does have that 6GB of RAM although you can get the 256GB model with 8GB of RAM. You'll notice that it doesn't have any buttons along the left hand side of the phone but on the right hand side you have the volume control and the power button which is in a nice metallic pink colour. Now talking about the camera setup at the back, you have a triple Leica camera setup here. You have a 40 megapixel f1.8 aperture main camera which shoots wide photo and video. You also have a 20 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide lens there as well. And then you also have the third one which is the 8 megapixel f2.4 telephoto lens which gives you 5 times optical zoom. In terms of the video recording, it can do 4K at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames per second as well as 30 frames per second as well and just like the Samsung S9 Plus it has 720p at a massive 960 frames per second. Now looking straight at the selfie camera it comes with a 24 megapixel front facing 2.0 aperture camera which gives you wide angle shots and 1080p video recording at 30 frames per second. As well as having NFC there's one thing you don't really see much on phones anymore is the infrared port at the top of the phone so you can use this to control various different infrared applications such as a TV via your phone. Now lastly one of the biggest standout features of this new phone is the reverse wireless charging. Now you can also charge any other phone that is compatible with wireless charging whether it be an Android or an iPhone and provide some of your power directly by placing the phone on the back of the Huawei Mate 20. And one of the other things I really like about the phone is the huge battery life. So it, it comes with 4200 milliamp hour battery which will give you way more than a day's worth of power in heavy usage. Now lastly in terms of the price point it is £899 in here in the UK. Now that is dependent on the model you go for. It's by no means the cheapest on the market but in terms of the features you get with the AI technology, the reverse wireless charging, the huge battery life, the in-screen fingerprint scanner and various other features, I do think the Huawei Mate 20 Pro is actually good value for money. Make sure you subscribe, I've got the full review of this phone coming out soon as well as a camera comparison with this and the OnePlus 6T. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.